Annyeong everyone, thank you for watching this video. Today I have the 2021 Mitsubishi Expander Black Edition. This is the Black Edition of the GLS automatic variant which costs 1,128,000 pesos SRP. Now this one costs just 10,000 pesos more which is 1,138,000 pesos SRP. If you want to purchase your Mitsubishi vehicles, you may contact the person here in the description section below here at Mitsubishi Global City. Thank you. Before we continue, I want to introduce the sponsor of this video. PWD Mobility Philippines. They are the only distributor of foldable electric scooters for persons with disability that are certified safe for traveling. Their products are certified to be brought inside the boat, airplane, and other means of travel, unlike others. They are foldable, durable, powerful, but most of all, they become legs for our loved ones. You can reach them in this number and this link below. This is the best time to give something that really touches the hearts of your loved ones. As you well know, Expander is one of the best-selling MPVs here in the Philippines and it is one of the biggest competitor of the Innova. But they have different cues in styling. So if you want something sharp, you may go for the Expander, but if you want something more tamed, you may go for the Innova. The Black Edition Expander looks really black because all the chrome accents are now blacked out. So, you know, uh, driving a black car during the night might be a bit more risky for people not to see you, but you don't have to worry about that because we do get LED lights in front and also some halogen bulb here in the fog lamp. By the way, here are the dimensions of the Expander Black Edition. Now, what is significant in the dimension is that the Black Edition has the exact same dimension as your regular variants. Now, it does differ with the Expander Cross, which costs 1,255,000 pesos SRP. Now, that's about how much? 117,000 pesos additional. Now, for that exchange, what you'll be getting is a different look because you have more black claddings on the exterior. You'll have wider, taller, and longer, which means you'll have more uh, minimum ground clearance. The Expander GLS has 200 millimeters of ground clearance and the Expander Cross has 225 millimeters of minimum ground clearance. So if you want a taller ride, maybe a bit of more space in the cabin, you may go for the Expander Cross. Here are the significant points uh, what the Black Edition has. We have black side mirror, black rims 16 inch, and also black outdoor handles. Now, you do get disc brake for the front and drum braking for the back while you get a Macpherson strut for the front and torsion beam for the rear in suspension. Now, other than that, let's head to the back and see what are the changes. As you can see, here at the back of the black edition, you only see red on the very significant areas. Yes, guys, don't black out the brake lights. It defeats the purpose and don't make it blink, please. Black out everything, black spoiler, black shark fin antenna, black bumper, black claddings, except for the Mitsubishi logo, which is still retained as chrome. Now, I think this one should be blacked out as well. What do you think, guys? The maximum cargo space for the expander you have 1,632 liters of cargo space. Now that is achieved when you, can, when you fold down the third row. Furthermore, you can even fold down the second row. So this is like one of the ultimate family vehicle and MPVs. Very easy to drive and practical for the Filipino families. Also what's significant is that Although we don't have backup sensors, we do get a backup camera. By the way, this is how the key looks like. 
a regular key design that is shared across the fleet. Let us check what's under the hood. Under the hood of the expander for this black edition, it doesn't change. It has the same 1.5 liter MyVec technology, naturally aspirated engine, and uh, it is mated to four speed automatic transmission. Insulation and a manual strut. Let us enter the vehicle and check what's inside this black edition. A bit dark, but yeah. This is a black edition, so I guess it is also nice to be displayed in this dark place. So the door panel has all plastic, and this one is the most futuristic pattern that you can find. The others are all plastic. These are uh, imitation for the stitching, but you do get chrome door handle. Yep. For this black edition, you do have almost entire thing in black well the headliner is in white the steering wheel it is wrapped in leather but it kind of feels like a uh, urethane you do get gloss accents with chrome accents now uh, most of the black edition features can be found outside not inside as you can see everything is just the same very important that we do have a backup camera, but then we, the, this head unit doesn't support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And when you turn on the light, just look at this. Yeah, you see how uh, very subtle it is to turn on. It's very uh, gracious and luxurious, and I like that very much. Now, Yes, we do not get uh, volume dials, but we do have volume buttons here on the steering wheel. And we do have three dials, manual, uh, rotary type of air condition system with a separate uh, control for the blower at the back. Now, if you want a more um, detailed review, you may watch my other review. But if you want to purchase this one, please do head down here in Mitsubishi Global City. Controls for the side mirror. So yeah, inside is just the same. You may head down to my other video if you want to watch more. Thank you. Here at the back, you do get the same design of the door carts and the door bins and this silver area, still chrome also. Now the seats are also the same. They're in fabric. The blowers are there and huge cargo space. Now, I wish they could have changed the headliner to black since this is a black edition. So, yep. And, and the rear looks like this. Yes, it gets fully flat, a bit of incline, but it is almost flat. We do get 12 volt here. Yeah, this is a really, really, practical car see you even have a place for your phone for the third row people and here lots of lots of cargo and we do get a spare wheel in donut type yes uh, what do i want to recommend or improve on this we get some rear sensors and i wish the camera uh, the backup camera has active trajectory lines. The pogey points are the rims, the front grille. Well, it looks really nice actually in this monotone. So if you want to purchase this one, you may head down here so you can buy yourself a black edition. This is the best-selling model of the Mitsubishi. Oh. This has good acceleration and this is a 1.5 liter engine uh, naturally aspirated. The transmission is 4-speed automatic transmission and it is the conventional 4-speed automatic transmission. It will have the most uh, natural driving experience. The visibility is amazing. The side mirrors are also in nice size and shape. I like it, it's so quiet. Of course, this is a gasoline engine, but you know, it's still quiet and it's not struggling. 
The shifting is fast. Here is the flooring from 20. Driving this, it's so quiet. Uh, the horn is like that. It's very loud. The stance is low, but the view is commanding. It doesn't feel like just a light vehicle. The only noise that you hear is from the tires, but I don't know how it will drive with seven people on board. But as of now, with just me inside the cabin, I am having no problem, no issues in accelerating and I'm also having no issues in braking and the braking is also nice. Let's try it. 60. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and then it is also handling the potholes really well. Go to the right. <laughs> yeah, it's taking the bumps really well. You don't hear those brutal sound when you step on the... Mm. Mm. It's set up to drive this expander. No wonder Kuya RM and uh, Elaine likes this car. It is nice to drive. It is easy to drive. The steering wheel, it is not the... Well, it gets stiffer. I, th I don't I know. It feels like this is electronic and hydraulic at the same time. Thank you everyone for watching this video. You may contact the person here in the description section below here at Mitsubishi Global City. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Annyeong!